Andreas Kahlgren, Sweden's Minister for the Environment. The CSD 18 conference is about to start. Uh, I understand that Sweden will be uh, raising the issue of sustainable transport. Yes, because it's so important for the climate and the environment as, as such. We have also seen in Sweden the example of really reducing emissions from uh, vehicle stock and from transportation as such, both through a lot of new green cars, but of course also by expansion uh, by um, railways. And apart from from that, what issues will uh, Sweden be highlighting? Well, it will be, of course, to prevent waste, it's to reduce chemicals and, not at least, to transform both consumption and production to become more sustainable. Hmm. Um, So a broad spectrum of of issues. Uh, Do you have any concrete examples of what can be uh, done? Well, one example is uh, waste prevention and reduction. I mean, in those days, Sweden has almost no waste going to landfills. Just 5% of our waste is going to landfills. That's through waste prevention, it's through reuse, it's also through energy production out of waste. So that's one good example. Another good example is also to uh, build sustainable cities and that takes a lot of good planning both to reach sustainability and to reduce emissions or reduce other negative consequences for environment. Um, In a broader sense how how do you change or is it possible to change consumption and, and production patterns as such? Well I think one important thing is Uh, to use the forces of of economic transformation. It means, for example, to make use of uh, market instruments, to use other economic instruments. We have seen the examples in Sweden with the greening of the taxation, which means really that we have reduced taxation for for income and and jobs. But on the other hand, we have uh, made it more expensive to... uh, make things that really are negative for environment. You've touched upon this, but on the international level, what measures do you think should be carried out? Well, first of all, I think the most important thing is to work internationally, really to fulfill what was agreed in uh, Rio and Johannesburg. And it's also to uh, create the right economic conditions, also through international systems. So what are your hopes for this conference in particular? Well, I think it's important really to prepare us for a good follow-up also in 2010. That's the year when we will meet again after Rio. And then it's important really to show that the world is prepared to move forward.